Hey everybody, welcome to the Healing Place Church Daily Devotional Podcast. We are in our Grow series. And right now, this week, we're going to focus on the power of growing through God's Word. So I want to read to you 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. The Apostle Paul said this. He said, All Scripture is inspired by God, and it's useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. Verse 17, God uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. I see three things in this text that I want to highlight. First is Paul talks about how the scripture is useful. He says it's inspired and useful to teach us. But notice he says all scripture not part of the Bible, well, it's really just the New Testament, or really I like, you know, Proverbs, those are the best. He says every ounce of Scripture is useful to teach us, to instruct us, to show us the way. You know, I remember growing up, whenever I turned 13, the, this one thing that I wanted so bad, and my parents finally got it for me, was I wanted one of those little Swiss Army knives because these things were the coolest. You could do all kinds of things. I Man, you could file your nails, you could unscrew something, you could tighten a screw, you could do whatever. There were so many cool little utensils on it. And I just remember thinking, man, the, 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 the possibilities are endless with this. And that's how Scripture is. Every part of Scripture from Genesis to Revelation has real practical use in our lives. So he says it's useful, but then he says it's truth. He says it corrects us when we're wrong and it teaches us to do what is right. You see, we live in a culture and a society where truth is coming from everywhere. Everyone claims that their way is truth. They claim the way we think is the right way or the way that we want to celebrate this or do that or the way we want to talk about this or talk about that. Everybody is coming with truth claims. But as believers, we have to lean in and we have to know where real truth comes from. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is not a truth. He is the truth. Truth is exclusive to the person of Jesus revealed in the Word of God. And if we don't know the truth, then we'll never be able to spot the lies of our culture. And so the Bible, and here's how we grow in our faith, is when we read Scripture, we become so familiar with what is real, with what is true, that when the enemy or the culture, or even our own flesh comes at us and says, look, here's truth, but it's really a lie. What we can do is we can say, no, God's word says this. I know what's real. I know what's true. So it's useful. Every part of it's useful. It's true. But then this is so important. As a Christian, it is equipping. He says God uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. You see, here's the thing. There is a call of God on your life. There is real kingdom work that has been assigned to you as a believer. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, Paul tells us what? That we have been created to do good works in Christ Jesus. We are God's poema. He's designed us uniquely so that we can do the things he's called us to do. And we cannot do those things. We cannot fulfill our assignment apart from being in God's Word. You see, God's Word, not only is it useful for personal growth, not only is it truth for identifying lives, but it equips us to walk out our calling. So what has God called you to today? What are the things in your life God has assigned you to do? You're going to need to be in His Word every single day to accomplish those things. So it's useful, it's true, and it's equipping. Look, my challenge to you today get in God's word. Man, thank God for video devotions. Thank God for these moments. But these cannot replace God's word in your life. Take some time today. Get in the scriptures. Follow along in the one-year Bible reading plan. Whatever you need to do, get in God's word, and we believe it will grow you into new heights and to new places in him you've never been before. Amen? Awesome. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll continue our conversation on growing. 